What's up, world? It's your boy DJ Man right here on DJ Man TV, and today I got my boy Oliver Anthony back to the channel. This is an emotional speech about the future of America, man, from uh, Oliver Anthony. Can't wait to see what this is gonna be about, bro, because I know he he be he be on it. You feel me? He be on it, man. So I can't wait to see what this is about. But before we get into it, like always, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, hit the notification button. So you know when I drop videos, and if you have anything that you would like for me to react to, drop it in the comments section, and I got you. But I'm anxious, man. I'm ready to get into this, man. So here we go, man. Oliver Anthony, emotional speech about the future of America. Let's go. On August 23rd, the first Republican primary presidential debate took place. And on that night, the debate kicked off with a question about Oliver Anthony's number one hit song, Richmond, North of Richmond, and why that song was striking such a nerve within the country right now. And now just two days following that question and the Republican primary presidential debate, Oliver Anthony has now responded as well as provided an emotional statement fighting back tears regarding his direction and inspiration behind his music and the future of this nation. First, here is Oliver Anthony's response to the use of Richmond north of Richmond in the debate. Here it is. Well, you know, like it was funny seeing my song in the. It was fun. It was funny seeing it at the presidential debate because it's like I wrote that song about those people, you know. So for them to have to sit there and listen to that, uh, that cracks me up. <laughs> Uh, but it was funny kind of seeing the response to it. Like, that song has nothing to do with Joe Biden, you know? It's a lot bigger than Joe Biden. Um, and that's all I be saying on the channel, bro. People try to limit me to Joe Biden. And it's like, bro, I'm not a Joe Biden fan, but I'm not a Trump fan either. It's like, I don't understand why we feel like we have to be one or the other. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, can, we deserve better, bro. That's all I'm saying. Let's go. That song is written about the people on the on that stage and a lot more too, not just them, but but definitely them. It's cool seeing some of my other music come out because people are, I guess, starting to appreciate and understand what it is I'm really trying to say. It's hard to get a message out about about your political ideology or your belief about the world in three minutes and some change. Now, Anthony did not stop there. As mentioned before, Oliver Anthony continued to address his frustration with how Richmond, north of Richmond, has been what he described as weaponized and being used on both sides of the political party line. Anthony expressed that he believes Richmond, north of Richmond, terrifies the country leaders as it has brought such unity among all different walks of life in this country and outside of it throughout the world. And doing just that is his mission with his music right now and of course into the future and to not be put in a political bucket, but to continue to bring everyone together. But I hate, I do hate to see that song being weaponized. Like I see, I see the right trying to characterize me as one of their own. And I see the left trying to, um, trying to discredit me, I guess in retaliation. Uh, that shit's got to stop. If you watch the response videos on YouTube to the song, it's not conservative people responding to the song. It's not even necessarily Americans responding to the song. Um, I don't know that I've seen anything get such positive response from such a diverse group of people. And I think that terrifies the people that I sing about in that song. And they've done everything they can the last two weeks to make me look like a fool, to spin my words, to try to stick me in a political bucket. And they can keep trying, <laughs> but I'm just going to keep on writing. And as we come to a close here, I'll gotta respect it. Gotta respect it, bro. I love it. I love it, man. Let's go. Oliver Anthony concluded his message by fighting back tears as he questioned where this country will be in the future and pointing out the tragedies and hardships that many Americans face each and every day. Here it is. I don't know what this country is going to look like in 10 or 20 years if things don't change. I don't know what this world's going to look like. And 
<laughs> like, something has to be done about it, you know? There's been too many people die. There's been too many people sacrifice everything they've had. People die before they even, before they're even 18, you know? Just so for us to all sit here and just do the stupid shit it is that we do every day that keeps us all, all beat down and divided. Like, that's what I want to see stop. And I'm going to do everything I can to influence that at all costs even if it does um even if it does throw my world upside down it's what it's well worth it so as we have got to meet anthony hey i cut for it bro i cut for y'all let me know where's the rest of this interview man i would love to check out this full not interview but video of oliver anthony expressing himself but i would love to check out the whole uh video man so drop it in the comment section man let me know but i definitely feel him on this you know what i'm saying like I, I see it all the time in the comment section right here, man. People is like, you either have to be left or right. And it's like, what if they both are the same? They're both working for the same, uh, for the same thing, man. Both of them are keeping up the vision. You feel me? It's, the, it's just two different sides of the same problem. You feel me? Like, uh, my uncle once said, man, he like, it's two different wings to the same bird. You feel me? It's like all this left or right, Democratic Republic. But it's all, it all needs to overhaul. It all needs to be fixed. And I think as people, man, uh, we put too much credit and too much power in the hands of left or right, Democrat or Republic, Trump or Biden. And it's like, man, forget all of that, bro. Like, can we just love and respect each other as, uh, as humans? You feel me? And I, I could follow him, Anthony, bro, because I get it. I get it, man. It's something that I that I had been trying to say for for a while. I feel like he just put it into into words. I couldn't. You feel me? So shout out to him, man. Y'all let me know what the rest of this video is, man. I look, I would love to check it out. But that's it. That's all I got, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Drop it in the comment section. But I'm out. One.